All right, let's talk for a moment about tablet mode. Easily one of the best selling points of Windows 10, really over any other operating system. Nothing else out there is quite like this. Now, I do apologize if things do run a little bit slowly. Um, I am obviously recording my screen here and that does take up a little bit of power. So sometimes switching between mouse and keyboard and tablet mode can slow things down a little bit. Uh, because of the additional hardware uh, power that I'm using here. So just to give you an idea of what tablet mode does here. So here we have an application, Microsoft Edge, running. We're using a mouse and keyboard, so that means I'm able to move it around the screen like so. When I open up the Start menu, it looks like this. Now, tablet mode is something that you can trigger uh, manually or that you can set to have automatically uh, happen whenever a keyboard is detached from the system. So this is particularly good for devices that are hybrids such as the Surface Pro 3. Now watch what happens when I switch to tablet mode, which I can access from the action center here. So I turn on tablet mode, automatically Microsoft Edge goes full screen. Now I can no longer use this in a windowed environment. So since I'm in tablet mode, another thing happened here. I don't have multiple desktops. I have just this one desktop. You don't need multiple desktops when you're in tablet mode because you're just using one or maybe two applications at a time. So what I can do though, if I grab at the top, say I am using my mouse here. Obviously this is designed for touch, um, but you can still use mouse and keyboard in tablet mode. Um, you can just go ahead and drag downwards. If you drag all the way to the bottom of the screen, this will close the application. However, if you uh, scroll it over to the right, that will snap it, and then you can snap another application on the other side. So we'll talk a little bit more about the controls for tablet mode using your fingers uh, in the next video.